Hey guys, this is Tyler from Mayflower again. I uh, just wanted to make a frequently asked questions video. Uh, just so, you know, if you want to look up some really quick questions, if you have problems or anything like that, you can probably watch this video and figure it out uh, before sending us an email. So, uh, here is my personal objective to uh, ODAC combo. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit different. We have our old style acrylic plate on it. Uh, it doesn't affect performance or anything like that. It's just an older style. Uh, so first off, I'm going to go through some of the features of the amp itself. We'll get to the ODAC later. Uh, so pretty simple. Uh, once you get the package, uh, you'll take it out of the anti-static wrap. It'll look something like that. You'll go ahead and plug the AC adapter uh, into your wall, and you turn it on. Uh, pretty simple. Just grab the AC power supply. You'll have a hole right here uh, all the way to the um, left, and you'll plug it in. Simple as that. The button closest to the power plug is the on-off button. You get a nice uh, red or orange LED to turn on, knowing that the power is turned on and the amp is functioning. Uh, next, what you'll do is you'll need to plug in a source to the amplifier. Uh, the only, uh, the standard option is a 3.5 millimeter input here on the front. Um, we do have these on our website, or you can grab one yourself. You'll just need a simple 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable you can get them for a few bucks go ahead and plug it in the input here grab something like an iPhone and plug it in and there you go start playing music okay we're gonna go through uh, the last few parts of the amplifier here um, so we cover the power in power button you got the headphone out and we have the input analog input uh, so we need to go through these last three in the middle here. So the headphone out, pretty self-explanatory. It's a standard 3.5 millimeter out. You can plug headphones into this. You can plug in your powered speakers input into this. It'll all work the same. Uh, next you have the volume uh, knob, pretty self-explanatory, up and down to change the volume. Then we have the gain button. Uh, the gain button, in layman's terms, is going to make your music louder. Uh, for most headphones on the market, you can leave the button uh, all the way out, as you'll see here. Uh, that is the standard 2.5x gain. Um, mo if, if you need more volume, uh, you'll know if you go all the way to uh, the maximum volume and it's not loud enough, then you can hit the gain button. Otherwise, you don't really need it. And that concludes the I.O. and how to run the Objective 2. Uh, next, we'll get into the ODAC. Okay, so now we have the uh, ODAC. Uh, this is an extra option. You can get uh, an ODAC uh, in a standalone enclosure, and you can also get it in a combination with an Objective 2 amplifier, uh, which is the most common option. Uh, this is the older style plates that we use. Again, this is my one. We've, I've had this one forever, so you won't get anything that looks like this. So uh, Most people choose to get the option with the rear power O2 ODAC. It's our most common uh, purchase order here. Um, so same thing like the Objective 2, instead of plugging the power cable into the front, you'll plug it into the back uh, if you choose that option. Uh, otherwise, for the ODAC, what you're going to want to do is you'll get this included um, USB cable in the package. Simply run it to your computer, or laptop, uh, whatever takes a USB uh, input. Plug it in like that, and really simple, you will plug it in the back here. You'll hear a little cha-ching or ding for whatever operating system you're using, and it is good to go. So in the next step, we will show you how to uh, set the ODAC as your default device and get us started working. Okay, so now we're going to uh, plug in the USB cable. Um, you'll hear that little ding. Uh, so if I'm using Windows 7, um, your operating system may vary. Uh, Windows 8 and Windows XP should be very similar. So you're going to want to go over to the start menu. You're going to want to type in sound. Uh, you're going to go into the sound under the control panel over here. You want to click that. Uh, depending on how many devices you have hooked up, um, yours, it, it will show up here. Um, but what you're going to want to click and look for is it's going to be under uh, speakers labeled ODAC. Uh, most OSs uh, will default it to uh, automatically. You won't even have to do this, but for some you might. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on that and then mine's already selected But you're going to want to click set default uh, for for this device and basically that's all you need to do uh, If I had music playing you'll be seeing little bars go up and down and it will be passing audio through to the amp uh, If you go into properties here, you're going to want to go to uh, enhancements uh, 
for the most part, just make sure it's all disabled. Uh, if it sounds weird or anything like that, something may be clicked on here. So you want to click disable all enhancements and go to advanced. Um, you're going to want uh, the, the default 16-bit 44.1 uh, will be fine. Uh, but for whatever application you need, you can go all the way up to 2496 uh, if you need to. But the default 16.44.1 uh, will be good for most people. So, and that's basically it. Uh, if you go ahead and just plug in your headphones, power cable, and start listening to music, simple as that. Also, I just want to let you guys know another cool feature that the Objective 2 with the ODAC, if you get this combination. Uh, so, most people won't be using the analog input if you do have the ODAC. Um, but another cool feature and why we have it on there and we still use them is that uh, the analog input uh, also doubles as a line out from the ODAC. So if you want to plug this into another amplifier or for whatever reason you just want the ODAC signal, um, same thing, just plug in a 3.5 millimeter uh, cable and you'll have the line out and you can plug this into a, a active speakers, uh, another, like I said, another headphone amplifier, anything you want, this is a uh, line out now. Um, and the amplifier does not need to be powered on for this. All you need to do is plug in the uh, ODAC in the back like normal, and you have a line out. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any more questions or would you think you'd like to see another video explaining some more products from us or just have any general comments or questions, concerns, uh, you go ahead and write an email on our website or go ahead and post your comments below. Uh, we will definitely read them and answer yours as quick as we can. Uh, so thanks again, guys.